Have you ever had somebody suggest some cut settings for you to use in Cricut Design Space, but you can't find them in Cricut Design Space? Or maybe you've tried a couple different settings and one is too light and one's too heavy. In those cases, what do you do? Hi, I'm Marilyn and my channel's Making with Marilyn. Now I had a person ask me if I could show how to add custom settings in Cricut Design Space. And so that's what we're gonna focus on today. So let me go ahead and go up here and say new project, upload. Doesn't really matter what I upload, but I'm gonna use Barbie Bling for today, add that to my canvas, and then I'm gonna go right up here to make it. So I click on it, and then say continue. Now let's go ahead and click on Browse All Materials, and then click on Material Settings. Okay, so in the case of the person that asked me, they had used light cardstock setting and regular cardstock setting. Light cardstock wasn't enough pressure, cardstock was too much pressure. So let's go see what those settings are. All right, so here's light cardstock. And so the pressure is 238. This column that says off, that means it's just a single cut. There's no double, triple, or anything like that. And then this is the blade. And then the other one that I think she was using was medium cardstock. So that setting is 273. It's also just a single cut with the fine point blade. So let's just shoot in the middle and let's settle on a setting of 255 for the pressure, single cut, fine point blade. To do that, you keep scrolling all the way to the bottom and you say add new material. Now you do have to name it, so I'm gonna name this custom rhinestone flock. That's showing that it's custom setting that I came up with and rhinestone flock is what it is. So let me say save. Now it's scrolling up all by itself. I didn't touch anything there. And you can see right here where you can adjust the settings. Now I am gonna go ahead and scroll it down just a little bit, and then we're ready to change this. So right now it is showing 175. I can either drag this, you can drag it up or down, or let's say I get close to the 255, but oops, I went over a little bit. I can use the minus or the plus buttons to adjust. Now, once I've done that, I say save. And then I scroll all the way to the bottom and I say done. Now it's still waiting for me to pick a setting. So let's say browse all materials. And then I'm just gonna type in the word custom and look for it. And there it is. So you'd click on it and you'd say done. So once you know the steps to do this, you can see it's a pretty easy process. Now, one thing you need to know is this setting is only good for my Cricut Maker. If I were to go ahead and open up an Explore, which I don't have an Explore, but if I were cutting on an Explore or Cricut Joy, when I change the machine in Cricut Design Space, my new custom settings are not going to be there. So you have to do this for each and every machine that you use. So I hope this has been helpful to someone. If it is, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing that. And then if you do, tap the bell and then select the all notifications. That way YouTube lets you know anytime I upload new content. So thanks so much for joining me today. And until my next video, bye-bye.